Sports. Visit mm-hmm. RadioOnFire.com backslash promo to get started. All right, y'all. So 50 Cent Gucci Man. Gucci Mane. Let me say it right. Yeah, Gucci Mane. 50 Cent and Gucci Mane. My dog home. <laughs> <laughs> they link for 50 Central track, and the track is called On Something. 50 Cent has uh, teamed up with BET to do a television series called 50 Central. It's a late night comedy series, boasts a cast of blossoming comedians who perform sketches, stand up routines, and hidden camera pranks. Musical guests are also featured on every episode. What do you think about that? That's great. That sound that sound good, man. I can't wait to hear what everybody think. I'm a, I'm gonna sit back on this one and wait my what, turn. Everybody think about what? What she just read? I'm gonna wait my well, turn. Uh, let me let me go first. Oh, to see if it's. Gonna... I've seen that. Well, let, let me talk about the show first. Right. Uh, Fifty Central is trash. It is straight trash. It is boring. Preach. It is whack. Preach. It on paper. It sounds good. <laughs> I become a comedians from you know Instagram and, and and pranks and you know in living color meets uh, uh, Dave Chappelle meets the stuff that they be doing on the streets uh, with the late Saturday night TV Night Live, Saturday Night Live, all right, all that. However, you got Fifty Cent involved in it, which Fifty Cent is not. He's not a. Um, I don't see him word? as being funny. He's or defi- having a- he, he has a sense of humor though. But it's a dry sense of humor, and he wants to try direct shit. That's the reason why G Unit Records couldn't work because he got to have his hands on every fucking thing, and um, <laughs> it just it just didn't work. What has Fifty Cent done that's been successful <laughs> that that didn't that involved other people? That like involved, a team effort. Um, power. Power. Fifty yeah, Cent didn't do power though. Movie. Fifty Cent didn't do power. He's involved. He definitely didn't do it. You're right. Yeah, he He's ain't write nothing. He ain't do nothing. This lady came with a script. She sat down with the with the Jewish guy that, that 50 Cent knows. They presented it, and he put money into it. He ain't do nothing. I mean, <clears> he's an investor. G-Unit was successful for his moment. Yeah. yeah I guess you're right. The, yeah. the, the, the entertainment or the clothes? The not the clothes. Not, not the clothes. clothes. We not don't want clothes. none of that. And not the tank tops. Yeah, we yeah not, not the tank tops. <laughs> now, not the sneakers. I'm I gonna say remember this. my homeboy... One of my homeboys, I won't say his name. Yeah, he's from the village. Man. From no, the he's village. not from not the village. Brother. He's definitely not from the village. He's from um, <laughs> and, um, <laughs> He had the 50 cent t-shirt. Which color? Like the red one with the red, white, and blue one? He had the, I, I don't know. I don't remember. I, I just know on the shirt, it had a bulletproof vest. Oh, shit. This was official. It was official. Born attached to the motherfucker shirt. That was definitely with the 2002. Going with the that had been 2002. Yeah, it was. I, I just remember, but was it 2000? At the time, it was recent though. We no. At the time, we was laughing because I felt <laughs> no, like, were. damn, yo, you look too old to wear that shirt. You know what I'm saying? Like it looked like a kid, like a kid should be wearing the shit. You know what I mean? But we laughed about that shit. That just brought me back. I'm sorry. I'm wondering if the comedian is gonna be funny. Listen, they not. They not they funny. They not you funny. seen it, Diamond? I've Absolutely. seen it. Listen, I saw you seen it? I saw the first. It. Yeah, it's been out. It's, this is probably like the fourth week. Yeah. It's trash. Trash. Like wow. trash in your trash what can. What time trash. does it come on? <laughs> I want to say 9, 30, 10 o'clock, something like that. Do it come on Tuesday? Yeah. Tuesday right before, right before Gucci Man's show. Now, that's what I was saying, right? <laughs> <laughs> 50 Cent, that was a smart move. Yeah. Because, listen, Irv Gotti, tan him up. Is he? Tan him. Tails is the truth. Now, that's that's slick. The truth. It was, was, I ain't Tails, never, Tails, I've never So, y'all don't watch that. TV, huh? No. No. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> tell, her the con- tell her the concept of it. It's going to kill her. Oh, show you. So, they take a, a hip-hop song. And make a script about it. So, for example, the first show of this season was Fetty Wap. What's the Fetty Wap song? Queen. Trap Queen. So they made a whole show based on the Trap Queen. So the whole the whole one hour episode is about a Trap Queen, basically. So they're taking songs, what? yeah, <laughs> and making plots. Well, the song is the plot, yeah. 
and they put in characters and different characters, big characters too. Yeah, it'd be and, actors that you know. Wow. Yeah, like Dope. then you know us, know nice. us got yourself Dope. a gun, and and yeah. and that'll be the name of the episode. And it, and the whole story is about somebody you know got the gun, that, that whole thing. But you know that concept is slick. And do they use that actual song for the theme of the episode? Yes, yeah. yeah. that's what it's about. Yes. And you know that's slick. Irv you Gotti, know that that slick. is slick. <laughs> Irv Gotti got on social media. I'm mad. I ain't thinking that. Because 50 Cent tried though. You know yeah. 50. He tried though. The, oh, the idea was good. But the execution. But the execution was trash. So Irv Gotti went on there and wore him out. And he said, well, this season you can check me right after the Hip Hop Awards. We coming on right after the Hip Hop Awards. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. He also let us know that 50 show was going to be trash. And it was. <laughs> now, wow. I will say this, though. This is this is the BMF series that 50 is going to be that is mean. not going to be trash. <laughs> going to be mean. Oh, he need God. to stick to the dramas and, and, and the hardcore yeah, shit because the comedy is not that's, his lane. That's his lane. It's not his lane. Power. But, but BMF. power. BMF is going to be BMF going to be the shit. I remember we, we first moved to Atlanta. BMF had a billboard. They had like the billboard when you coming off picture like coming off six ninety five and you see like a rap group slash you know street thing and they got this big ass billboard that say like the world is ours type of shit. Mm -hmm. It was kind. It was kind of crazy. I'm still wondering how did Fifty get that because you know the guys that did the Tupac movie had the rights to the BMF movie at first. It, well, he, from what I remember, he reached out. You know, he reached out through you know some some street mm -hmm. people, whatever, and, and got a um, I got a meeting with them, and and they got they got the rights. But I, it I, it did pass through some other hands at, at different points in time. That's gonna be dope, though. What kind of musical guest does he have on the show? And does the musical guest yes. outweigh the comedian? I think he had Fat the Joe on there. Yeah, they did. Yeah, that's better than that's the best part. Yeah, yeah. I don't really. Mm. I'm glad since that's that his lane, you know, the music. It's a great, it's a great concept. I just think that his imprint weighs too heavy on it. I think that he should have turned it over to a real life comedian. Let them do it. You don't need his stamp of approval on nothing. You just need you to put up the money and you get walking through the door for BET and then keep your hands off of it. Mm -hmm. Like most producers do. The executive producers. Keep your hands off of it. Let them do it. And, and you know, put somebody in charge of it. A lot of times, an executive producer is not making beats. They just you know bringing everything together. They right. might be funding everything, but they ain't got to be in the studio writing your rhymes and picking the track. You know what I mean? All that. And Fifty is doing too much in that regard. Yeah, I think certain wow. rappers because he's, oh, he's on the he show. Oh, he's on the show. He hosts the he's, show. He's, uh, so that's what I'm saying. He what about hear. Snoop Show? Anybody see? Joker's wild. Wow. Which one? I ain't see that. Him and Martha. I seen that. Yeah. Him and I Yo, love they that. Be, they be highs, I, don't know I love that show. <laughs> Martha be fried. I love that show. <laughs> of course she gonna be fried. You don't she think they got good shit. chemistry? I think they got I good do. chemistry. They do yeah. have good but chemistry. But see, that's the point I was about to make. Certain rappers got it. Snoop got it. Method Man got it. Red Man got it. Yeah. Certain rappers, you can put them in that light. 50 just not it. He good. Yeah. See, he fit in good, so good on power because that's who he is. Yeah. Controversy you know, is his thing too. But, but, he does, like, but, the, but yeah. you picked, we got him up there talking to the crowd. Crowd, small crowd, David Chappelle style. That's not. That ain't he don't have this. You know, it gotta be. It got some rhythm. He don't have that. You right. I mean? Like you said, all the rappers that you name, they got. They got that rhythm. I'm trying mm -hmm. to think who's somebody from the new generation that got that. Mm -hmm. I can't Plies. think of nobody. <laughs> He's Plies. funny. Color money. He's funny. I think Drake. I think Drake could do something like that. Drake is dope, man. Yeah. I, I think Drake. Drake yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. right. he got that kind of. Plus, he got that background too. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. You know. Um, but what you think? Maybe Pharrell would be good at it. Pharrell, I don't know about that because he, he, he doesn't really talk. He doesn't really talk though. like that. Like I, I think he's more so um, reclusive. I don't think he. I don't think he really do. You don't see him hosting enough and not really talking like that. No, but when he when I know when he come on talk shows, he's a little animated to me. Uh, uh, he's yeah. all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. He's all right. So. Y'all can tune into that. I won't be. Um, <laughs> we, we told you it was wet. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't watch TV anyway. So. We told you. We told you. <laughs> so, 
Y'all know there was a shooting at a Bootsy Badass concert on Friday. Prayers go out. Yeah. And apparently now there's drone footage of the shooting that took place at the concert in Gardenia, California. In the video obtained by TMZ, they seem to get all the footage, a man in a blue jacket is seen raising his arm before he begins to shoot. As the shots ring out, the crowd quickly begins to disperse. There appears to be multiple people fleeing the scene with weapons in hand. Wow. What y'all think about that? Mm. Mm-hmm. So the, the the victims, it's not it's not life threatening injuries. To the hospital. Yeah, it's not life threatening. With non life threatening injuries, and several okay. others in the crowd were also hurt. Boosie was in town performing at Choppers, the then mm-hmm. motorcycle club. I believe it's just it's another bad case, man. Even though you know everybody know that Boosie had nothing to do with it. Right, right. I was going to say that, mm-hmm. but it's Boosie. <laughs> it's it's any celebrity when they when it happened. I remember it happened no, at Run DMC back in the true. day when that's somebody true. got hurt and they blamed the you know what I'm saying. The, the, yeah, I, agree. I look I agree. at the fact I that agree. they somebody may hit him with a lawsuit over this. Right, mm-hmm. exactly, and it's Boosie. Boosie name means something different. He been locked up for murders. Mm-hmm. <laughs> It's all you know when you go to a Boosie show, it's gangsters there. Oh yeah, right. So it's like it's kind of it's just I know Boosie want to get out of that kind of. You know, I did my time. I'm home. He and it's just just living, man. And it's just like man. man. And it's he probably like again. You know what I mean? Again. He just touring doing the show and that shit happens. Absolutely, you know he get he get caught up in it. But unfortunately, it's it's the fan, you know, the, the right, type of the fans type that of he attracts, right. and right. then you know yeah, they that's may what, have a beef with somebody that's also in attendance, and and that's probably that's know. what happens. Like rappers gotta understand that what you spit is the crowd you attract. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Bottom line. Let me ask you something. Did Boosie come out and speak on that? I don't have any. Um, he shouldn't have any footage. You say he should not have. No, for, for what? I think he should have. I think he should have too. I mean, not probably. He probably could have said something like, you know, apologizing about what happened. You know what I'm saying? I just Even think though it's it so wasn't rare that they say what they need to say. What they what, what Boosie needs to say, and rappers like this, and I never they never do is the same thing we would say to to uh, people in the club when a fight break out in the club, and we would be like the D, from the DJ's perspective. We would say, yo, y'all can't be doing this in here. You know, we ain't got a lot of places to go. They try to shut us down. Like, you know, we would try to explain to them the, the magnitude of y'all fighting in this club tonight and how, yeah, you may, you know, got one over on whoever, but the bigger picture is eventually we ain't going to have no place to go. Right. So how important is this whatever beef that y'all have versus not having no place to go because the city don't want us to have nowhere to go? I think rappers need to come at it from that perspective when you have mm-hmm. these acts of violence and try to, because sometimes I know it's obvious, but I think sometimes they just need to hear that right. from the rapper. And then a lot of times people be like, we have little scuffles and we can kind of talk it down because it's like, yeah, yeah, all right, all right, all right cool. And, and they kind of separate because it's like, they just need to hear that reinforcement sometimes. And I think the rappers need to do that more often because they don't really do that. Absolutely. And you know, them people, man, them promoters, no, look, man, I know for a fact when I was out doing the little party thing or whatever, I used to look for that type of stuff. And it's like... What you mean? I'm sure it's promoters saying, I don't know if I want to pay Boosie 60000 You know what mm-hmm. I mean? And mess this event up. Mm-hmm. Even though Boosie not doing it, but like you said, what you... Following, yeah. Is your following. That's what it is. Yeah, and that's another thing that sit, that that just sit us back. But like you say, man, we need to step up a lot more. The ones that's in the light, the ones that we mm-hmm. see, the ones that we look up to. We yeah. mean in our culture, you know what mm-hmm. I mean? Yeah. And we need to step up. Man. It's just too much going on in the world now. Like for you know what I mean? Just every day hearing some shit. That's why I be so happy. I be trying to make the best out of this. But on a good <laughs> note, you said no, it wasn't really life threatening. So, mm-hmm. yeah. And police have been unable to track down any suspects. Go figure. 
So it, they will. No one's been if it's a black person, somebody gonna tell. <laughs> Well, they got some footage, so maybe. Yeah, maybe they'll find yeah, they something. Yeah, they used to tell him up. I ain't gonna lie. So, Captain Saberho. I wanna be sang. <laughs> hey. I think that's the joke. Watch that me do it. <laughs> E40. Launches lawsuit for Captain Saberho book profits. Hey. Cabinet save a whole book. <laughs> I want to be sang. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's 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 written by my homegirl Erica Kane. Yeah. And when I saw the book, so she it's written by yeah. It's written by Erica Kane. Yeah. One from here. Yeah. Yeah. So when I when I saw the book, so so I hosted the um, African American Book Expo um, uh, last month, and. I, she was there. She was one of the speakers. And so when I saw the book title, it did make me think about E40 because I'm an E40 fan. So I automatically associate those words with E40. And, you know, I mean, I ain't say nothing to her about E40, but I just, I, you know, I, I see how this happened. <laughs> wow, <laughs> what she do? What's the title again? Captain Save a Cap- Home. The title of her book is Captain Save a Home. E40 is not in the mood to play games. He is very upset. Nah, he doesn't play it, but just get The Bay Area rap stable has reportedly decided to sue author Erica Kane, who penned the book Captain Saberho under the name I Kane, according to TMZ. 40 Waters accusing Kane and her publishers of lifting the title from his 1993 track of the same name. Uh, but see, here's the thing I don't think. Erica Kane's an E40 fan. I think that that's a slang word that people use. Uh-huh. And it's, it's a little bit of a dated slang word, too, because people don't even talk like that no more. But on the flip side, it all comes down to whether or not E40 did some type of paperwork on that. I'm sure he word. did. For, like, if, <laughs> if Matt comes out with a book that's called The Benjamins, Diddy can't come and sue him, so I'm like, yo, you took that from my song, because it's just... It's just a word. It's just the Benjamins. It's not, you know what I mean? <laughs> but if 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 he comes out and, and has a book called uh, The Notorious Big, he might have some problems there. So, But this right. is not E-40's name. This is a song title. I don't know if he really, um, you know, did necessary paperwork on that. If he's trying to, if this is, if he, if his only paperwork is the copyrights to the song Captain Save a Ho, He's going to lose. Well, in new court documents, the Sprinkle Me rapper claims he owns the rights to the phrase Captain Save a Ho. And I would be Kane surprised. And blatantly that. stole it for her own gain. 40 wants a judge to pull the book from shelves and is requesting any profits Kane has made from the book. I find that hard to believe. I find that. Uh, Just like Jeezy. It's slightly petty. Though. Just like Jeezy. Could he. Could he trademark the word the snowman? I don't know. It's a word, right? And so he didn't invent the word. It is it is some words. So E40 never knew he never like promoted himself as Captain Save a Ho. It wasn't a part of his imagery or anything. It's just a slang word that we use. Just like bling bling. Right. You know, it's it's, it's it's a word that is on a BG song. And you know that song, but if you came up with something called Bling Bling, baby can't come and try to sue you. That's craziness. <laughs> All right. Um, shout out to Eric Kane. Does she ever reside in, in the Bay Area? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is she around like E40 age? Like, is she like in that age bracket? I believe so. E forty is probably Diddy's age. Yeah, he, I think he's like fifty now. Because forty nine, fifty. It, it to me, I'm, I don't know. I don't know nothing about it, but it kind of seemed like it's coincidental. I mean, it's what people say. I, I kind of feel like you know, imitation is a form of flattery, and it was a huge record. You know what I mean? And it, and it turned into something different. That you can hear a person say that phrase and never heard the song right i mean i've heard it i've heard the phrase in movies before right 
Exactly. You know, where the dude try to play Captain Saber Ho. That's the, I've, I've heard that in so many different concepts. So, I mean, is he suing everybody? He invented Captain Saber Ho. That's what I want. So, he invented the phrase Captain Saber Ho. That's what he said. That's what he said. So he, I mean, he, he got that book. He's language saying though, he's, so. he's saying that she is basing. So if you if you've seen her book, it is uh, there's a guy that's on it, and I think this might be where he's where he's going with it. She has a guy on a cover, like holding a girl, like you know, it looks like he's saving chicks. So it's got he got like one on his shoulder, one under his arm, one's around his leg. Mm-hmm. That's how her book cover is. And in E-40's music video, he had a guy who was like a superhero with a cape that was kind of like, you know, going and saving girls. So from that imagery standpoint, I might could see, see, you know, where he may say that. But once again, it comes down to whether he has trademarks on the phrase or not. The song in itself is not enough to me. I don't think that that's going to... Um, I don't think he's going to win that case if that's all he has. If he has some trademark on the phrase Captain Save a Ho, then, you know, they might have to break bread. But it's crazy because I've never heard of anybody else being sued for using the phrase Captain Save a Ho. Yeah, but I don't think they released a book on it, or I don't think that they promoted it. You may you may have used the phrase in in speech, but if you try to put something out and promote it and all that kind of stuff, you know, a lot of people don't own stuff, so they just don't do anything. Mm-hmm. So I don't know. Wow. It's the mm-hmm. short of the stick. Yep. Mm-hmm. Because even with the phrase Captain Save a if I was doing like graphic design, the first thing I'm gonna think of is a man with a cape with women around him. I mean I wish she had I wish she had right. re- this 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 should be a, let this be a lesson to all of you. Okay, uh, teachable moment here. Yeah, I am going to bet just about everything. If Erica Kane had reached out to E Forty and sick with the records, he would have okayed this. I'm sure before the book came out, if she had reached out to him, he would have probably been super cool with it. It wouldn't have been no issue, but he looked at it as disrespect. And I think it's not about money because because he has a lot of money. It's not about money Mm -hmm. in his eyes. If he has the paperwork, it's about the respect factor. And she didn't go through the proper channels. And we got to do business right. And if he was white, you know, da 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 da. She maybe she would have went through the channels and she said, "Fuck me," basically. And he feel disrespected. But I feel I feel that. But like you said earlier, what if she just don't know about that? I, and I think that's probably that that could be the case. But I know, just like when I saw her at at the um at the book festival, I know across her travels, somebody said something about E Forty at some point in time, whether it was her boyfriend, uh, somebody in the publishing why, house. Somebody. Why somebody had to say something about E Forty? Because I it, didn't know that E Forty had a song called Captain Save Hope. So just I just heard it. Uh, well, that doesn't mean I didn't know that. In, in, in this case, ignorance is not bliss. That won't work in a court of law, <laughs> right? Because they're gonna say, "Yeah, all right." Why? They're gonna say they don't believe you. Play. I mean, if, they, if you cop, copyright one of his popular you, songs to me, so that was his. That was his first song that charted. Oh, okay. But at the same time, then can't sprinkle me after this one. That's the one I know. Sprinkle Me was his biggest record at that point. Like a neurologist. But yeah. yeah, that was after this one. That was 95. What do you say? Did you think Got a that partner by the name of Tupacalypse. Really touched East Coast like that? Captain Saber Home? Mm-hmm. Uh, no. It, it depends. I, I, like, I was playing it, but... You were I was, playing that back in the day. Hell yeah. I was the I've first, never seen that video. Yo, I was the first person here playing West Coast music. Oh. Oh, yes, I'm a West first. Coast. I am West Coast fan. That, that's first. I was playing I'm a West Com- Coast fan. I was playing Compton's Most Wanted before anybody even was down. I was them. too. Way <laughs> early. What early. one time gaffed him up album? All that. That ain't the name of the album. That's a single, nigga. <laughs> that was the name of the album. No. 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 What was the name of the album then? Because I had what, that tape. It's a Compton thing. He said, it's I a Compton thing. thing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> It's about drive by Miss Daisy, man. 
Their yeah, best, that see, that was their best out. Drive by Miss Daisy. Yeah, yeah. They, was, they was tight. But see, but just because. <laughs> Look at T.T. like for real. <laughs> man, that shit was hard as a motherfucker. Shout out to MC8, man. It happens. Just like if she had sampled his song. If she had sampled the song, that would have been a lawsuit. I just don't know how this is going to go because she didn't sample the song. So if he don't own the trademark phrase, Captain Save a Ho. He said he do. I hear him. But yeah. it seems to me she had a publisher that they would have been able to scan that. They would have checked on that to see if somebody owns this. I don't know. Shout out to E40, man. Shout out to the West Coast. Like it Shout was, out to Erica Kane. Lisa, what's the up, Shorty? The phrase was so common, you know that it shouldn't be an issue. If I, and that's probably what they question, thought. Question. Right. Question. If I write a book today called Wangster. Mm. Mm. I like that. What you think on? That's why he was quiet for 10 minutes, because he was trying to figure out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you, that's a, that's a, that's a good, that's a, that's a good, a good exactly. thing. And I'm yeah. going to say more than likely you wouldn't have no issue because I don't think that they trademark the, the phrase wankster because I don't think it's trademarkable. Everybody know where you got it from though. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, yeah. I actually think people more, but see people probably know 50 cent. From Wankster more than they know E40 from Captain Saber, huh? Right. Facts. That's why I said. Right. That's why I That's said true. People, more people wouldn't know where Wankster come from. But you, you know, know why? I mean? You know why? Don't because, know. I didn't know because E40 it's more. Re okay. We talking about almost eleven years difference in the releases of those of the two songs. True. true. We talking about we. That's MTV era age. Videos was on TV like right, that, right, like right, that. Right. Right. When E40 song came out in '93, it wasn't music videos on TV like that. Uh, there was you had the box, but this was something that was more of a local record that kind of that this rec that record really got him his major deal. Right. So it was a first record. The video was super low budget, and it wasn't a, a widely spread video over this side. But and you got to keep in mind, videos wasn't coming on like that, like that, like mainstream. So, so a lot of people didn't know that song, and that song didn't get no play over here. So right? Could, could that be her fight? Could that be, you know what I mean, where she go in Not there? if he got paperwork on the trademark. Don't all that matter. don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> all that don't matter. But uh, if there's no trademark and he's just using the song as a reference point, I, unless she sampled l music or words from the song, right? he ain't got nothing coming. Man, the real Rick Ross lost the case against the rapper Rick Ross. Correct. He literally took this man's name and what he was doing his criminal background and everything. But that's that's different. Wow. That's different. <laughs> and I, I never understood that case. I never understood why the real Rick Ross even had the nerve. And, and let me say, he's a cool guy. I met him. He's cool. Um, he lives in Atlanta. But I never understood how you could have the nerve and the audacity to try to sue an entertainer for your criminal activity and using that in a legal sense in a lawsuit. It don't make sense to me. Because, because <laughs> he took, maybe if he went and took his name. Well, he, he got a new interview came out today. Who? Uh, uh, Rick Ross. The Freeway Ricky Ross. Freeway. Yeah. And he said when he came home, well, let me, let me backtrack. He talked to Rick Ross, the rapper, while he was in jail. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he said, um, you know, the real Rick Ross, I mean, the, the rapper Rick Ross, he was bigging him up. So Freeway Ricky Ross told him, come see me. I, I just want you to come see me. You know what I mean? All that talking you're doing is fine. Come see me. Anyway, long story short, the rapper Rick Ross never went to see him. Of course not. <laughs> so wah, wah, wah. He come home. <laughs> he said, I come home. I'm not even really thinking about him. But he said a lawyer came to him while he was walking up the block. He said, you know Universal owe you $50 million. I'm just coming home. I hear that. It don't hurt to try. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Plus, my name is Rick Ross. He took my name and he came out. His first record that blew up, he said, I know Noriega, the real Noriega. Mm -hmm. So you talking about my life. But, but I mean, he, you know. he more so he he's more so 
Okay. He's more so was talking about the drug dealer lifestyle. Right. Which he shouldn't. I mean, 50 did the same thing to the guy 50 50 Cent. See, but 50 Cent, rumor has it, really rumor has it, that he did get him a couple of that. He gave him some money, though. Oh, 50 Cent gave him some money? He gave him some money. Oh. (laughs) Wow. I, I didn't even hear that. And you know, I mean, 50 really was... I ain't gonna get into all that. <laughs> well, we are Real Spit Radio on RadioOnFire.com. You know? Make sure y'all come check us out on December 2nd. That's second. December 2nd at Gentleman 10 for the Knockville Comedy Jam from 3 to 7 p.m. Free food, drink specials, DJ Diamond K on the ones and twos. Jim Dash Project. Yes, hosted by Henry Jones. And today's broadcast was brought to you in part by the Baltimore Music Awards. Let your voice be heard at the 2017 BMAs. Polls are now open for this seventh annual red carpet event honoring Baltimore. Log on to BaltimoreMusicAwards.com before December 3rd to cast your votes in all categories. Uh, we'll be right back. And when we come back, we'll have our guest, Jugo Boss, is in the building. And... We are Real Spit Radio on RadioOnFire.com. Yeah. Dope.